Our discussion today is about something that has affected us all over the past few months, living in lockdown or living in isolation. We're very lucky to have two guests with us who are both uniquely qualified to talk about the subject. Yes, I've been thinking back to my, my experience as a hostage under the present COVID-19 lockdown. On one level, it's obviously not being locked up in my, so to speak, locked down rather in uh, in, in my apartment here in West London is, is, is nothing like being locked, locked up and chained up underground back in as those days in Lebanon. But I think that it does stir up memories, but also there are clear parallels. Of the, the, the thought of all the uncertainty that well, the whole world is facing, but we are all facing. John McCarthy, the journalist and broadcaster, who was taken hostage in Lebanon in 1986 and spent over five years in captivity. We're also joined by Judith Moring, a consultant psychiatrist who specializes in rehabilitation. What I've experienced in this whole episode has been how powerful the mind can be both for good or for ill. So all that, all that level of uncertainty is something that I absolutely remember. Fear is so contagious because we communicate our emotions non-verbally just through our eye contact. You know, at any point they might come in and shoot us. We all panicked. Pandemic of panic around the globe. The internet was spreading it like bilio. The news is spreading it like bilio. And we all got a dose. Even Lou rolls, that's my abiding memory. No, Lou Lou rolls. Um, panic buying hummus as if they were waiting for some, you know, terminal dinner party where they'd have to have dips and crackers. Madness, but anyway, there we go. So anything that's new, so novelty is really stressful. Uncertainty is really stressful. A threat to the ego is really stressful. And then the final thing is this loss of control. There is that element of extraordinary, a sense of risk, I suppose, and not knowing. It's about locus of control. Just bring it back to what's under your control. How can you get a little bit of certainty back, a little bit of control back, a little bit of knowing what to do back? Because none of us know what we're doing anymore. Very frightened, very anxious. We don't know if we're going to catch something. How long will it take? A lot of people, their lives are completely on hold at the moment. Don't worry about what Donald Trump's doing because you're not in charge of that. Or, you know, I'd rather you shoot me. When you scan people's brains, after four or five months in that kind of very extreme isolation, their white matter actually shrinks, which is kind of scary when you think we've put the whole of society around the world into this vast, untried social experiment, trying to emerge into whatever this new normal is. It's all about just beginning to emerge, beginning to make contact with the man at the bottom of the road who sells you milk. To create a sense of community and future together with the person you buy bread from, with your neighbour, the smiles, the small hello.